Uh, I'm here to represent Canterbury Christ Church University. Um, Canterbury's got a long history with Teach First, and we uh, share the, um, the teacher training with London, and we also um, do the training in East England and also in the South East. Um, I'm a professional tutor, and I, I love that role, um, and I'm also the area liaison tutor for East, um, which means I oversee the development of Canterbury participants, and also add extra support if needed, and I'll be talking a little bit about this as well. Um, I was a secondary school teacher in Essex, well we tell I'm in Essex, <laughs> and uh, this is my uh, last class, and it says there, if you can't see it, the best teacher ever is to cook, so there it is, official. <laughs> <laughs> I love my job, I really do, and I love being inspired by participants, and when I get inspired by participants I tweet about it. Um, these are a couple of tweets I had the pleasure of sending um, this year. So the first one, this is actually in James Hornsby School in Basildon, and this was a Skype concert that took place, this is Jess Langley, and uh, her students, she just set up this, this orchestra, and so they, they did their concert, and then in America they were doing their concert, and it was tra transmitted, it's just amazing technology, isn't it? And the uh, next one, um, uh, Jack Perkis, he asked me to name check him because he read his mates for him. Does anyone know Jack Perkis? Right, okay. <laughs> 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 I'm not doing words. Or he's just been too embarrassed to say. So. Anyway, this is a Cornelius Boyden Boy school in Canby Island, and this is an immersive, immersive room with all these different uh, projectors. And this was Vietnam, and the students had to try and pick up something um, for getting blown up. So when they broke the kind of the, the, they didn't really get blown up. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a new face to teach first. Um, but when they broke the uh, the, like, the laser, it, it, it went off. Anyway, it was really impressive, and that's why it's easy. Um, so, um, you'll be very, very well supported in the program, I think that's come across, um, and we take great pride in the support that you'll get. For early years in primary, just to show you, you'll have a university professional tutor, you'll have the in-school professional mentor, and you'll have the LDO, which was being explained. For secondary, you just get an extra level of support through the subject. So you will have a subject tutor as well from the university, and you'll have a subject <coughs> mentor as well. I'd like to say something really important about, about support. Recognising and seeking support is a strength, not weakness. Sometimes we formalise the additional support needed through a support plan structure, and this is exactly what they say they are, it's support to help you have a bigger impact with students. Some of our finest ever participants were on support plans at some point during their training. There's nothing to be ashamed of, and later you'll hear from some participants about how accessing this support helped them to become better teachers. Now if I may, uh, I'd like to share a personal story of the impact of some of the teachers have on my life, um, and my relationship with East London. Um, as I said, you can probably tell on this. Uh, born and bred in South End on Sea, big ups. So. <laughs> 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 I, <laughs> I also lived in Newham uh, in, when I was had my first career, and I used to work at ITV and advertising. In 1990, I looked like this. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, oh my god, he's handsome. <laughs> no, actually, you're probably thinking, what the hell happens here? <laughs> and I wouldn't blame you either. I was not very creative at school uh, at all. No, art terrible and technology awful. So I just had no kind of like um, creativity within me. Uh, one day I was in sixth form and my teacher out of the blue said to me and my mate, um, Jerry Dale, his name was Jerry Dale, and I said if we'd like to be in the school musical production, to which our response was to laugh in the face uh, because we weren't really like really people. Um, but then having given it some thoughts, I thought, well, let's give it a go. I played a brother in Joseph and set the colour dream code. I learned that I could sing, believe it or not. Not quite as good as that guy, I don't know. <laughs> but I learned I could sing, I learned I could do whole harmonies, and then there was a drum kit. I used to draw work that drum kit. <laughs> just wanted to play it. And then my other teacher, Pauline Waller, said, Do you want to have lessons? Would you like to do that? I'll cut a really long story short. In 2012, I found myself in a stadium in East London. 
Remember it? It's quite big. <laughs> and I was on the drum and see the ocean in the Olympic Games. Oh, it's not good. There's an arrow, just in case you get <laughs> <laughs> Playing music and being in bands has been a massive part of my life since I was at school. And it afforded me some great opportunities like this one, recording the BBC. Well, I can safely say that that wouldn't happen unless Jerry and then Pauline had encouraged me into performing. They really did change my life. You're going to have the opportunity to change lives every day, as we've heard today. I guarantee it will always lead to something quite so spectacular as the Olympics. And you might never ever find out the impact you have. But in every lesson, every day, you'll have influence that could change someone's life. It might be the simple act of kindness. But for that child, it might be the only act of kindness they had in that day. Don't forget the great responsibility you have on building young people up. Be careful to never knock them down. The final slide is a picture I took two weeks ago when I was looking through participants of the final portfolio of evidence. Thank you for being a great teacher. You're the best teacher I've ever had at this school. Don't tell me the teacher I said this. <laughs> I wrote this to show you how much I appreciate you. Bear in mind that that's a Christmas card. And that could be you, maybe, in six months' time. It's a tremendous privilege to teach young people every day. Treat them with respect and build their knowledge Inquisitive, inquisitive, you know what I mean. <laughs> Aspirations, self-esteem and confidence. We're counting on you, but more importantly, society is counting on you. Good luck and thank you very much. Very, very finest. It's Tim and Joanna.